Developed by the indie developers Pinnacle and published through Tiny Build, Party Hard was released on August 25, 2015 initially for Steam and was later ported to other consoles over time. I purchased the PlayStation 4 port, so let's jump into it. My name is Inspector John West. I was... Take your time, Mr. West. Deep breaths. You want a drink? The story for Party Hard is really simple. The year is 2000 and you play as a guy who is fed up with his neighbors for being loud due to the parties that they throw and decides to go on a killing spree because of it. From there, he just starts going to different parties to kill everyone. His purpose for doing this is detailed in his character description. He just wants to get some sleep. I could understand the first party, but his reason for the other party just goes completely out the window. It's safe to say that he just does this because he, well, enjoys it. Throughout the game's campaign, you are treated to cutscenes in between levels as a cop by the name of Darius having a conversation with another man named John about the killings. As far as the story goes, the only shock or surprise was finding out the identity of the mass killer you play as. But other than that, Party Hard's story is not the strong point of the game. The presentation of Party Hard is a beautiful display of detailed pixel art baptized in neon colors. So the mass amount of animations with everything you see simultaneously going on can feel somewhat overwhelming. For example, while I was playing this level a bunch of thieves was robbing the place, then on some occasions I noticed that I wasn't the only serial killer at the parties. This added more humorous moments while I was playing this game which was somewhat refreshing. Each level and each party has their own type of theme that they go by, from house parties to parties on a boat and even rooftops. You never know what may happen at any given moment. Everything is so vibrant and full of life in Party Hard, and you may catch some very iconic characters that you may recognize if you look real hard. This is one of the rare moments where if somebody is just simply watching you play this game, they will get quite a few laughs out of the craziness that goes on. And actually, they may be aware of some of the things that the player may not be. The gameplay of Party Hard is fun and takes some patience to play. The player has to utilize time and stealth to take out everybody at various parties. You start off with a knife as a primary weapon. Each party is different, meaning that you will have to switch up your approach and strategies to accomplish this task. You can do this in multiple ways, but one of the ways that is not recommended is taking the obvious, reckless, direct approach. Such as just walking up to people stabbing them in front of a crowd. You can't catch and kill everyone in time before they call the cops on you because 1. You're not that fast and 2. You have the ability to move quickly but your stamina gives out so fast that you'll be out of breath in seconds. If you try this, the mass amount of people will scatter like ants and you will fail every time. One of the strategies to use is your environment and interactions to your benefit. You see in each level there will always be options for the player to creatively murder the people at the parties. In some parties, you can start a fire, sabotage electronics for it to blow up, poison the food, and the list goes on. But this is where the time and patience comes into play. I don't think that this game nor the developers create this game nor its levels to simply be rushed through. There will be moments that after a kill you have to think about the reactions and what to do next after you executed a thought out way to accomplish your goal. For example, find out a way to hide the body to prevent a panic amongst the party goers. Another example are traps. Each trap you set needs to be set in a way to maximize the level of payoff. In other words, don't set a trap to kill just one person. Alright, now on to what happens if the party goes catches you in the act. If you're a spotter in the middle of a kill and somebody sees you, they will break fast for the nearest phone and call the authorities on you. Probably just have to memorize them where they are based on where they stop and call them at. Depending on the level that you are on, they can come via a helicopter, car, or even an elevator. It doesn't matter. But when they show up, man. It's like they have a psychic ability just to know exactly where you are automatically just as soon as they arrive. These cops don't play around, they are fast as hell and if they get near you no matter how much you try to resist, you're going to be busted and taken into custody. There are however only a few ways to get away from them. Trying to outrun them would never be one though. The ways that you can get away from them are getting them caught in traps or giving them to slip through many ways such as climbing through the window, ladder or passageway. This will force the cop to run around, but every cop can only do this for a certain limited amount of time before they give up. This method can only be utilized maybe like once, because after utilizing this method of escape, Mario, yes, that Mario, pops out of the nearest toilet or anything connected to a plumbing and shuts down the whole entire operation. I tried fighting him, but Mario would knock you out cold before he gets back down to where he came from. I told you this game was nuts. Once he closes off that path, you won't be able to use it again until after you die or the level is restarted. 
Escaping the cops a set number of times would get the attention of the CIA and FBI who would show up in men in black outfits and patrol the parameters. Oh, you thought that the cops were the only ones you had to look out for. Nope. You have bouncers that would get you busted for no reason. People will stump you out sometimes just because they simply don't like you. And lastly, oh, I will get to that one in a sec, but first I failed to mention one last thing that probably might end up helping you. The last thing you can use to help aid your attempt of a massacre would be through the weapons that are scarcely available to you. I mean, you would rarely find these. For example, like flash grenades to knock people out, a sword, you know, for whatever reason, a change of clothes to make people forget you do your swap of a color palette, and lastly, a bomb. Now, these babies will get you the attention of the last enemies that will come knocking. That is the SWAT team. When these people come to the party, it gets rather hilarious. They come in a crew with body armor, riot shields, and heavy artillery. They'll go around literally arresting anyone who is suspicious of possibly having a West warrant or escaped convicts. I don't know. This game is crazy. And lastly, knocking the lights out of civilians who just want to come to the party at random. The game is overall fun to play, however there are only a few things that I can find a challenge for the player. And that's 1. How easy it is to lose a cat to amongst a busy level. 2. How at least for me on the PlayStation 4, the frame rate can momentarily become a PowerPoint presentation when you activate a trap. 3. The repetitive screaming you will definitely have to learn how to endure. And 4. A glitch in which if you dispose a body, you have to do it twice since the first time may not be recognized. Other than these 4 things, it's a very well crafted game. You know what? I'm gonna give you some helpful information. As the player, you can unlock other characters by fulfilling certain requirements. You can acquire one by avoiding the cops 5 times, another one by completing the level without anyone finding the body, and another one by straight killing 20 people. Each have their pros and cons for using them, but none of them can fight the cops, so just remember that. The music for Party Hard kind of threw me off just a tad bit. You see, the game takes place in the year 2000, but the music sounds like that it could have been from the 80s to the mid 90s. I mean, in some of the tracks like Don't Stop Party, I strangely began to get the Beverly Hills Cop theme looping continuously in my head. When the main theme played, I definitely heard a little bit of a Daft Punk influence in the song. I remember a smile creeping across my face when I first booted up the game for the first time and saw that gorgeous title screen. Just off of what I heard with the presentation gave me the feeling of assurance that I was going to enjoy myself. Most if not all the music you hear are heavily synth electronic dance music which is composed by the beautifully Ressa Schwarzwald. The original soundtrack is available now where digital music is sold. I will provide the links where you can get a copy of that if you like in the description below. Party Hard is available for Steam, Sony PlayStation 4, Microsoft's Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, Android, and iOS. I was getting some requests to do some sort of a rating for the games I review. I have heard your requests and I thought about it. I will begin rating the games from 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest. For Party Hard, I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's a game for casual players who just want to have a few good laughs and a good time. You don't have to be invested in the story because the somewhat charming gameplay of the game keeps you hooked in. Currently, this game has a sequel, Party Hard 2, that is available with an obviously graphical upgrade and a more variety of ways to massacre unsuspecting victims.